So I'm always hungry and I can't just always eat cakes and cookies all the time. I mean, it's getting really out of control. I just ate a whole one and then I thought to myself, let me show my friend Stephanie wants to go vegan and she's not really sure where to start. It's sort of like daunting when you don't really even know what to eat. So uh, this is an awesome snack for midday when you're getting that craving for something sweet and delicious and satisfying and it's so easy to make. So um, I'm gonna just make a recipe for two. And what I'm doing here right now is I'm just sort of mashing up a banana. Uh, it's a half a banana. It was not really as ripe as I'd like it to be, um, but it'll do. So there goes half, a, half of a banana. And this, like I said, is gonna make two portions. So what we're gonna do is just put half of it down in the bottom of each glass. And of course, if you don't have glasses like this, you could just put it in a bowl. Like it doesn't have to be this. Um, the next thing that I did, uh, I have some chia seeds. So you are going to have to go buy some ingredients, which um, this is probably available now in every supermarket. It's maybe in the baking aisle. It's wherever you're gonna find your Bob's Red Mill stuff. Um, usually you'll find the chia. So I'm putting two tablespoons right on top of the banana. And then I like my snacks sweet. And for me, I try to offset using regular sugar by using monk fruit sugar. So I'm putting less than a tablespoon of monk fruit sugar down into each one as well. Of course, you don't have to buy that. You can use like a sugar-free syrup, which is what I use if I ever make myself some pancakes. I like to, you know, try to cut some of that sugar with the sugar-free stuff. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit of that, probably about a tablespoon into each one. The cool thing about a recipe like this is you can really adjust it to your liking. If you want more sugar, add more sugar. Um, I have some cinnamon that I'm also adding to each one. It's just like a sprinkle, maybe like a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon per each one. Um, then I have the oats and that's where like the overnight oat idea comes into play. So that's gonna be three tablespoons of oats into each one. And what else did I do? Oh, okay, here comes the plant milk. So I'm using coconut milk, um, but you could use whatever plant milk that you like the best, almond milk, soy milk. Typically I like to use soy milk, but it's really friggin' cold here in Florida today and I don't feel like going out into the garage to get my other carton of soy milk. So I'm using the coconut milk that I already had in the refrigerator. I'd say that's probably a half a cup of plant milk to each one. Now I'm gonna just kind of give it a stir. You definitely wanna stir it up because otherwise the chia kind of gets a little bit clumpy um, and you just wanna kind of distribute it. So it's not really necessary to do the layers like I did because we're just gonna stir it up anyway. So again, you could just really dump all of this into a bowl, stir it up, stick it in the refrigerator for probably an hour. I think it probably took about an hour for this to start really gelling. Um, chia seeds are natural like sponges and they're so good for controlling your appetite because they sort of absorb the liquid and it's really good source of um, healthy fats too, omega-3s. So this is just a really good snack. It's so healthy, it's sugar-free, it has really good fats in it, and um, it's really gonna curve your snack hunger. So we're gonna get these into the refrigerator to set, and then I'm going to pour a little peanut butter chocolate ganache over the top because I need my chocolate. This will probably be the harder part for somebody who doesn't really have this ingredients always on hand. Like if you don't have 
chocolate, then you would probably want to skip this step. And it's totally fine to eat that pudding the way that it is, but this really is so good. So just buy some chocolate chips. If you can get sugar-free ones, that would be awesome. Otherwise, um, just, you know, a little bit of sugar and it isn't going to kill you. It's better than eating a whole piece of cake, in my opinion, which I do more often than not. So that was probably about a half a cup of chocolate chips. And to that, I'm adding hmm, probably about a half a cup of coconut milk, too, in a small little pot, because we're going to put this on the stove and melt it to a ganache consistency. Now, I really don't measure, but... Um, what is that maybe like a quarter of a cup so i'm going to add that into it as well and just put this on a, the stove on a low temperature stirring constantly until it turns into this silky smooth chocolate ganache that we're going to pour on top of each one but not until the pudding is set Okay, so check this out. This is the melted chocolate, coconut milk, and peanut butter. Um, I just kept it on a low heat, stirring it until it was melted. And what I realized though is that this is way too much for two portions. So when I said like a half a cup of chocolate, a half a cup of coconut milk, and like a quarter cup of peanut butter, that is completely wrong. You could cut that in half for two portions. Like this is way too much. So I'm going to have extra, but that's okay. Um, I could put it right in the refrigerator and um, at midnight when I get out of bed starving, I'll just um, eat it with a spoon. Now check this out. This was not even a half an hour and it's already set up. So basically what it does, that chia and the oats just sucks up, the, sucks up all of that plant liquid. And this is already the consistency of pudding. So like you don't even have to wait a half an hour to do this dessert. So, you know, when the moment strikes you and you need something sweet, believe me, I get it. And so if you could wait just a half an hour, you will have these amazing um, little snacks. So just put a little bit of that um, chocolate peanut butter mixture on top. Whoops, okay, it's not completely set, so let me just spoon it on a little bit better. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? You're just gonna like suck it down anyway, so what's the difference? But um, yeah, just like a little chocolatey surprise on top. I can't do without my chocolate, but again, if you don't want to do the chocolate part, like all the better because then you'll save on calories and sugar just by leaving that part out. This is also not a necessary part, and believe me, if you leave off this little sprinkle of peanuts, you're also saving a bunch of calories, but um, you know, I did work out the numbers on this, and um, here, well, first of all, let me put, I have a little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt. Now, of course, I'm getting totally fancy, and I know Stephanie is not going to do all of that, and neither do you have to. You could really just leave it be at the overnight oats part, and it's not even overnight. It's literally a half an hour. So that's really it. Like, check this out. Okay, I'm not going to eat this whole one because... I already did eat a whole one, but I just want to show you, like, look at this dessert, this healthy, amazing dessert. Chia oat banana peanut butter chocolate pudding that is almost, well, it's refined sugar free. And okay, so for the chocolate part, but hold on, I did work the numbers. Let me eat this one little bite. Mm, oh my God, it was so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so I worked out the numbers. So it does have a total of 30 grams of fat, but that's from the chia, the chocolate, of course, and the peanut butter. Like the peanut butter packs a lot of fat, but you know, what do we say? It's a healthy fat, right? There is 60 grams of carbs in one serving, which is a lot in my opinion, but it's good carbs. It's oatmeal and um, you know there's carbohydrates in everything so 
you know, in my opinion, this is a way healthier carb snack than eating like a bag of chips, right? Or a piece of cake. There is 13 grams of protein in this, which is a lot. And that's going to come from the plant milk. The oatmeal has protein in it. Chia has protein in it. The peanuts have protein in it. Um, it is a 487 calorie snack, but um, hey, a piece of cake would probably be a thousand. So if we can just start substituting some healthier choices in for what I normally go for, if you are a sweet snacker like I am, and you've really got to pull the reins on, this is a definitely an awesome, awesome dessert. It's so quick to make with just a few special ingredients that you can have on hand in less than a half an hour, you can have this amazing snack. So um, tomorrow we're gonna get back to my classic cakes veganized series and make the classic Napoleon cake. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. I just really wanted to do this quick video for my friend Stephanie who is really wanting to transition to a vegan diet and she just doesn't know where to start. So if that is you and you like these quick little recipe ideas, then comment below and let me know and maybe I'll continue doing this from time to time too. Um, anything I could do to help people transition to a plant-based diet and a vegan lifestyle, I am all about it. So thanks for watching and until next time, happy vegan baking and eating and cooking. Bye for now.